Hey guys, what is going on? Comic Collector 101 here, and today I got another awesome video for you guys. So, today's video is just going to be the rest of my Marvel collection, which will be consisting of N through Z, so the rest of my Marvel collection. And then my next video will just be my DC and my independent books, because I know I don't really have that many DC books like I do have Marvel books so I'm going to include the DC books in my next video and my independent uh, independent books like Image, Charlton, um, all those companies so yeah so the uh, first thing I do want to talk about before I actually get into the video is I just wanted to shout out a few people um, so uh, the first shout out goes to Comic Brains um, Comic Brains is a YouTuber that I have watched a lot of content from um he's a really cool dude um recently i think i think he just got out of the hospital because of a leg injury um hope you're doing better man um and uh he and now uh he just made a video today doing a contest um a 250 subscriber contest honestly he should uh, deserve a lot more than 250 um, but he is doing a contest. Um, sadly, I cannot enter the contest because I am 17 years old. I am not 18, uh, 18 and one of the uh, requirements is to be 18, and I am 17. But um, I will give him a shout out just because of the cool content that he does make for the community. And anyone who wants to enter his contest uh, is really cool. That's really cool. And but you have to be over 18, so I cannot uh, enter it because I'm 17. But really cool dude um hope you're doing better uh, with your leg man um next uh <clears throat> shout out goes to the comic box um i've watched this guy for a while um really like the videos that he puts out uh every other day um if he tries um or if he can you know do it um but when he does uh it's really cool content um ever since the hiatus that he had um he's been pumping out videos left and right so really cool dude um Go watch his videos. Um, and next guy is a new one, a new <clears throat> YouTuber that I just found out about today um, is Lord372. Um, he's a really cool dude. Um, I just watched a video showing uh, him showing off his Submariner run 1 through 72. So, really cool dude. Um, if you're a real big Submariner fan, uh, go check him out. Um, and, but I'm not really a big Submariner fan like he is, but. Um, I did watch his video and it was really cool. Um, he's got 40 something subscribers right now, but he deserves a lot more. Um, des deserves a lot more. Um, all these guys deserve a lot more subscribers. Um, so yeah, go check them all out. Um, I, if you want, I will leave a link for their channels in the description below. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Um, to this video. So the first book I forgot to show off in my last video, but I will be uh, including it in here, uh, G.I. Joe number 21. This is the first appearance of Snake Eyes, I believe, yeah, I don't know. Some people say it's Storm Child, but I think, I, I think, like, they're kind of the same people, Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow. But anyway, really cool book, uh, pay like $10 for it at my comic book store, so, um, I mean, I thought it was a, you know, good deal, so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next book. Oh, excuse me. Is uh, Nova number one. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Nova Corps, and the first appearance of. Uh, excuse me, Nova. Um, I bought this at Wizard Con two years ago. I think yeah, two years ago. Um, really cool book. Um, you know, it's got some flaws with it. You know, a bunch of a bunch of spine ticks right on the spine, but. Other than that, it's a really, uh, really nice book. Um, this is a price. Oh wow! I just now noticed the price sticker is uh, still on the back of it. Pay twenty five bucks for it. Hmm. Really cool. I would really like to see this character in a TV show or a movie. Um, I, I there was a lot of rumors that he would be in Phase Four, but you know, Phase Four is almost done. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, really cool book though. I would really like to upgrade, but I mean, this is a really nice presentable copy. All right, next book. Uh, Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider Man, number one. Uh, this is the premiere variant. Um, so basically, this, this particular variant, uh, there was only two copies per store. 
and this was the last one they had and I you know the seller like the guy wanted uh, 15 bucks for it so I look online and this copy is or this variant is going crazy like there was people wanting 30 bucks for it to 60 I, I think there was one eBay seller that wanted like almost 200 bucks for it but uh, I mean I'm not I mean I'm not gonna count that but just you know I mean this this book is crazy right now um, I, I think when I showed this off I thought I think I said that this book would die down a little bit but it's still consistently going for 30 to 40 to 60 bucks um, so luckily I bought mine for uh, 15 so but still a really good book to have I did read it that was a really cool uh, story and I think there's like a first appearance of uh, somebody in here I, I can't remember what it is I think it's the first appearance of Peter Parker's sister or something like that I don't know I can't really remember all right next book uh, Red Sonia number one uh, this is their first volume I believe uh, I know there's like four or five volumes of Red Sonia but this is the first volume um, I would like to get her uh, oh, I'm trying to rem maneuver here a little bit but I would like to get her uh, her uh, first appearance which is in a Conan book I think it's Conan number 21 or something like that I, I know it's like in a magazine I think yeah but still really cool to have Red Sonia number one Oh, next book is a book that I really do want to uh, upgrade. Uh, Savage, Savage, uh, She-Hulk, uh, number one. Um, this is their first appearance, I think. Yeah, first appearance of She-Hulk. Um, you know, it's really brown. Uh, you know, it's it's a really brown copy, but I mean, it's still I'm really glad to have it. Um, so She-Hulk to me is a very highly uh, under. Uh, underappreciated uh, character in my opinion I don't think the character uh, gets a lot of love um, She-Hulk is a really cool uh, character so yeah. really cool book uh, definitely a book that uh, I want to upgrade oh yeah this book right here or the character even is so cool Spider-Woman number one uh, this is their first volume um, really like the character um, really nice uh, high grade too um I know spider woman I mean I thought spider woman was going to easily hit a TV show and I mean this is kind of like one of those books that's just waiting to explode in my opinion um but I I think spider woman has a lot of potential for a TV show so yeah it's really cool I would like to have uh, Marvel spotlight uh, 32 which is the first appearance of uh, Spider Woman, but I'm really glad to have it. Um, it's actually a really nice, um, high grade copy. Corners are sharp. So I mean, no spine ticks whatsoever. It's just a really nice, high grade book. Really glad to have it. All right, next book. Spider-Man Adventures number one. Um, this is the white variant. Um, I know there's a, a yellow background variant or the original uh, cover to this, but this is the uh, white variant. And, and, and it doesn't really go for that much, but it is a variant. So really cool. Speaking of Spider-Man, have y'all did y'all see the new uh, Spider-Man TV show that was aired on Disney XD? Um, I really liked the show. It was really neat. Um, Ultimate Spider- I mean, this show already is a lot better than Ultimate Spider-Man, in my personal opinion. Um, not to say that I, I, I did like Ultimate Spider-Man, but this one is kind of, I guess, you know, kind of the, uh, the, the Spider-Man that I know and love, I guess. I mean, I, I'm not going to go real deep into the show, but I really did like the show. Really cool. Alright, next book. Spider-Man Final Adventure number one on um, both of these books I mean they're not I mean they're not uh, really expensive or anything like that they're just really cool to have and they're number ones so yeah really cool to have all right next book is a book that uh, I I do want to upgrade 
but I'm still very glad to have it and bought it for very cheap. I think I paid like less than 10 bucks for it. I think I paid eight dollars for it, but this is a Spider-Man and his amazing friends number one. Um, this is the first appearance of Firestar in comics. Um, this is not the first appearance of her in Marvel continuity in comic books, but this is her first appearance in comics. Um, so yeah, really glad to have it. Um, I mean, it's got some issues with it. Um, there's a spine, or excuse me, there's a crease right there. Is a chip missing from the cover right there? I think that's just the cover. Yeah, that's just from the uh, cover. And you know, we've got some uh, color breaks along the spine, but I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I really do like it. Really uh, glad to have it. All right, next book is a book that really, I guess, really got me to buy a lot of um, of the series Spider-Man number one. This is from the Todd McFarlane uh, run. Um, really cool uh, cover. Um, I always bring the story up when I show Todd McFarlane art. Um, I remember when I first started this channel. And I, I will be honest with y'all. I did not like. I mean. I, I didn't really appreciate Todd McFarlane's art. <laughs> when I first started collecting comics because I thought I always thought that he drew Spider-Man's eyes really big um, But that is how Spider-Man is now. He's got really big eyes. So I, <laughs> Yeah, I, you can hate on me if you want I, I when I first started collecting I really did not like Todd McFarlane, but now I really do love Todd McFarlane now um, I really like his art. So I mean I Changed my mind about him a long time ago, but Still really glad to, uh, to have it. Really nice high grade, too. Alright, next book is another Spider-Man number one, but it is the uh, silver variant uh, to this. Really nice high grade. I uh, didn't pay that much for it. I think I paid only like five bucks for it at one of my comic book stores. And speaking of Spider-Man number one, let me take all these down. I do have actually a CGC a uh, CGC of uh, Spider-Man number one, the silver variant, but it is a 9.0, and it's funny too, it's funny too because I, uh, oh you can see my face, hi, but um, actually I went to uh, vacation um, back in July. Uh, and when I did, I saw this book at a comic book store uh, that was relatively close to my hotel, about you know about a 30 minute drive. And I went there, and I only bought two books from there because um, I only had like 60 bucks. So re not really much I could really spend on any big key, I guess. But this was in uh, the showcase, in a showcase uh, case or whatever. And he wanted 30 bucks for this for a 9.0, and I was like, okay, cool. Because he said, you know, oh, by the time the movie comes out, this book will reach 50 to 60 bucks or something like that. I, I don't really exactly what he said, but I just went ahead and bought it. And a, a couple weeks after, I, when, you know, when I got back from my vacation and everything, I went to a comic book store about an hour away from me. And uh, I saw the exact same book, but it was a 9.8 for 30 bucks. Well, and actually, it wasn't actually thirty bucks. It was twenty something. It was like twenty something because they had a twenty five percent off sale that day. So I, I, I would have bought this. I could have gotten this book for a lot cheaper, for a nine point eight. So, kind of a, you know, I mean, I was kind of grudging about it at first because I was like, God damn, if I would have just waited, I would have bought. I could have bought a nice, like a lot better high grade copy. 9.8 for less than 30 bucks and I bought this for 30 bucks for a 9.0 well you know it's I guess how I guess that's how the dice rolls when you're comic book hunting so yeah um anyway next book spider-man or excuse me marvel knight spider-man this is number one but uh, this book is really cool because it is signed by oops where is it mark miller Really cool, and this is uh, 490 out of a thousand. So he signed only a thousand copies of these. I still have not been able to find any 
kind of price range to what this book can go for. Uh, the only thing I know about it is I paid 20 bucks for it. So, I mean, that's the only thing I know about it. And the certificate of authenticity is in the back of this. I mean, I'll, I put two boards behind it. I don't know if you can see that, but I, I put two boards behind it. But, yeah. And it's in a poly bag as well, so. Um, but yeah, the certificate of authenticity is in the back of it, so. Yeah. All right, next book is, uh, ooh. Submariner number one. Um, this is the first uh, of the King Size Annual Special, or King Size Special, excuse me. Really cool cover. Um, really like the yellow. Um, the background, really cool. Um, didn't pay that much for it. Um, I mean, the only big, huge problem I can see with it, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a really big check mark right on the name, Submariner. It's, it's right there. Like a huge check mark. So... Yeah. Again, didn't pay that much for it, but still glad to have it. All right, and we got some Tales of Suspense going on here. Uh, we got uh, Tales of Suspense number 82. Um, I don't know why I included this in here. I, I don't think there's any key to it, I think, but I might I might be totally wrong on it. Tales of Suspense 84, Super Adaptoid. Uh, I just know that there are Adaptoid appearances in it. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, if I, I mean, if, if you know any keys about it, let me know, um, but I, I can't really remember any key about it. Now this next book, I know there's a key to it, but this, I mean, this book is in really bad shape, and it, and I just found this out the other day, and it pisses me off really, really bad. Um, this is Tales of Suspense number 99, which is the last Tales of Suspense before it became Captain America, and the reason why I'm very pissed about it is because this the back the front and back cover is detached from the whole book and the comic book store I bought it from he said oh no it's it's attached I think but I didn't pay that much for it but I'm still pissed um I did have it in a mile no I didn't have it in a mile I thought I did for a second but the whole front and back cover is detached so and there's a state stamp. Well, not a, there's a stamp that's just 35 cents. So I mean, I'm I was really pissed about it, but eh, it is what it is. But I I'm definitely gonna want a nice higher grade copy of this. So yeah. All right, and then we got some tales to astonish. We got tales to astonish 91, which is the first appearance of Abomination. Um, I thought. Tales of Suspense 91 was the first appearance of Abomination, but no, it's the first cover appearance of him. But Tales is to Astonish 90 is the first actual appearance of Abomination. Um, so yeah, really cool. Really low grade, but still glad to have it. And we got Tales to Astonish 91, which is the first cover appearance of Abomination. Um, really underappreciated uh, villain in my opinion. But yeah, really cool. Really cool. Alright, next book. Uh, Ultimate Marvel Team Up number one, uh, featuring Spider Man and Wolverine. Um, Spider Man and Wolverine is probably my all one of my all time favorite team ups. Um, besides Spider Man and Deadpool. Uh, Spider Man and Deadpool is really cool to me. But the Spider Man and Deadpool and Spider Man Wolverine team up is kinda tied for first place, I guess. Um, but yeah, really, uh, really cool to have. Oh yeah. All right, now take these down. Now these next few books, I'm really glad to have, especially with all the hype of this character down the road. Uh, first book, Venom Lethal Protector number one. Uh, now this book has gone up significantly ever since the. Uh, the, the the news broke about the Venom movie, spinoff movie that Sony's doing, and a few others like uh, was it Silver and Black with Catwoman or not Catwoman, Black Cat, blah blah, blah and uh, Silver Sable. I don't know why I said Catwoman there, but we have Black Cat and Silver Sable. So yeah, and then the Venom spinoff movie, and I'm actually really disappointed that uh. Venom, well at first they said that Venom was going to be part of the MCU and then they said it's not, so 
whatever. I'm still glad to have it. Um, and I would like to have every single variant to this as well. I know there's the error copy, which is like the black background, and then there's the gold. And there's actually a rumor that there's like a white variant. And instead of it being red, it's white. But I heard there's only one known to exist. So, yeah. Uh, all right, and then this next book is significantly gone up in value. I want another copy of this because I didn't know how beat up it was. Well, I mean, it's not really beat up, but I mean, it's it's you know, it's it's definitely worth upgrading. Uh, Bride of Venom number three, which is the first appearance of She Venom. Um, I've I I think there's a rumor that she will be in the Venom movie, and I think it's like. I think the she venom is like her his fiance or ex fiance or her or his Eddie Brock's girlfriend or something like that. Um, really cool book. Um, I, I didn't pay that much for it either when I bought it, but I mean it's it's definitely worth upgrading. It's got a few spine right there, and then we got the spine wear on the spine. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, I mean it's, I mean it's all right, but I mean I would really like to, to uh, to upgrade this. And so, yeah, let me let me back out a little bit. There we go. All right, then we got uh, Venom number one from the uh, 2009 series. P pretty cool, really white, but I mean there's a no oh, chunk. Missing from the cover right there. Well, I mean, it's 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 like a tear, but I I didn't really notice it until I bought it. But I mean, I would definitely like to upgrade this and get the variants to all this. I think there's like five prints to it. Oh yeah, now this book is really highly undervalued, but I mean, it's 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 really cool anyway. Uh, Venom number two. Uh, this is the homage cover to Spider-Man number 300 so and I bought this for two bucks and on eBay it's it, I mean it's it's selling I mean the eBay sellers want consistently like 30 to 40 bucks for it so yeah I mean pretty cool to have spent two bucks for it so yeah all right next book <clears throat> web of scarlet spider number one how many minutes am I running out of here 22 minutes uh, I think I said it in my last video when I first started that I would make it to 20 to 25 minutes every video, but I don't think that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna happen. But yeah, Web of Scarlet Spider number one, really cool book. Oh yeah, now this book, I was super glad to have it. Web of Spider Man number one, really cool book. Really always love the cover to this. Um, I remember when I really started first collecting and really wanted to get into the the big uh, key issues that everyone has um, this was the one of the first books I ever looked up on eBay and everywhere it was selling consistently or eBay sellers wanted at least 50 to 60 bucks for it and I bought this one a couple months ago for I want to say less than 20 less than 20 bucks I think so, I mean, it's really cool. Um, I'm really glad to uh, to have it. Really nice high grade. Um, I mean, it could use a press. Yeah, could use a pressing, but really glad to have it, especially for the cover. I always love this cover. All right, next one. Weird Wonder Tales number one. Pretty cool cover. Um, yeah, all I can say about it. I mean, it's kind of it's really beat up. I mean, I would say about a VG minus, maybe. Um, really low grade, but still really cool to have, though. I think there's like a crease on it, too. Yeah, I mean, you can. I mean, it, there's a crease right there. And a bunch of spine spine creases and stuff. But, yeah, I think the staple. I think the staples popped on this one. But I might be totally wrong on it. But, yeah. Weird Wonder Tales number one. Alright, then we get into some Wolverine. I really like Wolverine. 
Wolverine number one from the limited series. Um, this is a really low grade copy, but I did get this for Christmas. So, what the heck is that? I don't know what that was. There we go. Wolverine number one. Uh, really low grade, like I said, but I did get this for Christmas. I'm really wanting to uh, to upgrade this as well. So, I mean, now that I look through my collection, just showing you these books, there's a lot of books that I would like to uh, <clears throat> to upgrade. Oh yeah, I definitely want to to upgrade this book too. Wolverine number three. I, I want the whole limited series to this one through four, uh, but this is uh, <clears throat> Wolverine number three. Let me scoot out of the glare if I can. Um, but yeah, you can just see. Oh, you see my camera. That's nice. You can just see all the, the spine wear on it. I, I don't know if you can see that well on camera, but there's a lot of there's a lot of spine wear on it. All right. Next book, Wolverine number one from his own monthly uh, series. Uh, paid, I, I bought this, yeah, I bought this uh, in two, 2015 at the Wizard Con. Um, is the price sticker? Yeah, the price sticker is still on the back of it. Paid 25 bucks for it. I mean, it's a very fine, very fine copy. So, really glad to, uh, to have it. All right, next one is a really cool book. Really glad to uh, to have it. This is uh, Wolverine number eighty-eight. The first uh, meeting between uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. So really undervalued book in my opinion. And he had like I think I remember him having a bunch of copies of this for very cheap. I think ten bucks for each copy. But I got the best looking copy out of all that he had. All right, then we have X Factor number six, first appearance Apocalypse. This book has really died down to a book that it's so affordable. Uh, ever since X Men Apocalypse, um, you know the the movie or the villain that everyone didn't really like. This book has so like dropped down significantly to like a fifteen to twenty dollar book, and I bought this for 50 yeah 50 when the movie was just being announced so yeah what can you say again that's how the dice rolls I mean it's still a really nice high grade copy so yeah alright next one X Factor number 24 which is the first appearance of Arch Arch Archangel Archangel uh, sorry if I pronounced his name wrong but yeah, X Factor 24. Really nice high grade copy. And he had a bunch of the copies of this. Well, actually, I bought this at my local comic shop. And he had like, and he, they just, they just got a new collection. And he had a bunch of copies of this. And uh, yeah, really cool book. All right. And then the last four books are X Men's to so finish it off for this video because I'm already almost running at 30 minutes. Uh, this is a uh, X Men number one forty. Uh, I, th I don't think there's really any significance to it, except it's just a one to go appearance. But this book is so like expensive on eBay. Well, it's, I mean it's not really expensive, but it is pretty, you know, a little bit steep, especially for just a, a an X Men book. Um, this is like running like sixty to seventy bucks on eBay. So, yeah. But yeah, really cool book to have, and I only paid fifteen dollars for that, I believe. And we got Uncanny X Men one forty two, which is part of the uh, <clears throat> Days of Future Past storyline. Really low grade. Uh, only paid ten bucks for it. Um, I think I think it's almost you know starting to fall apart, but I mean I didn't pay that much for it. Only paid ten bucks for it, so yeah. Alright, then we got Uncanny X Men one or excuse me, two forty four. Yeah, two forty four, first appearance of Jubilee. This is the first comic I ever bought from a Comic Con. So yeah, really cool. I I didn't think I paid that much for this either, and it's actually in really nice high grade shape. So yeah. And then the last book 
for this video. Uncanny X-Men 256, the first appearance of Lady Mandarin. Yes, I believe, yes. So, but yeah, really cool book, really nice high grade. Really glad to have it. All right, so there you go, guys. That just about does it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it for you guys. Um, so be on the lookout for my next video, which will be my DC and independent uh, books. So, uh, yeah, so that just about does it for this video. Um, this is Comic Collector 101, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.